So, today we are going to discuss about transfer function of DC generator. Characteristics or magnetization characteristics of DC generator. Okay, here the aim of the aim of this experiment is we are going to determine the transfer function of DC generator. Okay, that is this transfer function going to obtain by conducting the OCC experiment on DC generator. Okay. For conducting this experiment, we require some operators. Mainly, we are going to consider only one voltmeter. Now, the range of voltmeter is 0 to 300 volts, that to MC. What's the difference between MC and MI? Here, MC is used for calculating the values for DC. Okay, coming to MI, these measures the values of AC quantities. Okay. Okay, for conducting this experiment, we require only one voltmeter, that is 0 to 300 volts, that to MC. Similarly, ammeter, we are going to require only one ammeter that is already connected or integrated in the circuit. That ammeter range is 0 to 1 amperes, that to MC. Okay, this experiment on DC generator, so we are going to consider only MC meters. Okay, circuit diagram consisting of Coupling of DC generator as well as DC motor. We are having some nameplate details for DC generator as well as DC motors. Those are voltage, voltage value, current value, speed, and power. HP is nothing but power. Similarly, we are having same specifications for motor also. And coming to circuit diagram. Okay, this is our circuit diagram. Okay, by using this circuit diagram, we are going to find out the transfer function of DC motor. Okay, for this circuit diagram, these two, this is the motor and this is generator, these two are coupling each other. Okay, this indicates the coupling between motor and generator. And for motor, we are going to apply. What's the purpose of motor? Motor is a machine which converts the electrical to mechanical. Mechanical. Electrical to mechanical. So what's the input for motor? For motor, we have to apply electrical input, right? So we are yes. going to apply 220 volts DC to this motor. Okay, this is the supply. From supply to we are going to connect it to the starter as well as motor. What's the use of starter? To start the machine. Yeah, to, start to limit the, the starting current. Control the starting current. Okay, by using switch, we can start the motor now. To limit the starting current. Yeah, to limit that's, the starting that's, current. that's the use of starter now. Not for starting the motor. For limiting the starting current, we are going to use the starter. Here we are having two types of starter. First one is the three-point starter and second one is the four-point starter. Okay, generally in motor experience, we are going to use four-point starter in terms of security security and high amounts of speeds. Generally, we are going to use four-point starter. Okay, these are the terminals of starter. Line, neutral, armature, and field. Okay, supply. Supply to, we are going to connect to the directly line and from armature of starter to armature of motor. Similarly, field of starter to field circuit of this motor. That is, this is the rear start mark. Field circuit of starter to rear start and rear start one more point is going to connect it to the this is the field of motor and this is the field of generator okay the second term of this rear start we are going to connect it to the field field of motor and sim uh, and and then we are going to short circuit all these terminals i think everyone know idea about how to connect the connections right Yes, okay, that is field yes. ZZ, armature AA, all those things we are going to connect it to the negative terminal of supply. And here, this is the field circuit now. Okay, we are going to exit this field circuit by using same supply, DC supply. Okay, here we are going to exit the this field and in between field to supply, we are going to connect the ammeter. Okay, this is the ammeter for measuring the MC quantities, that is current. And across this motor, we are going to connect to the voltmeter. 
okay this is about connections ma circuit diagram and connections okay coming to procedure only single step procedure ma after making connections we have to switch on the supply then we have to start the starter after starting the starter by using this rheostat by using this rheostat we are going to make the motor speed to rated speed of motor okay generally the rated speed of motors are 1500 rpm 1500 rpm okay after starting the starter by using this rheostat means by wearing this rheostat we are going to set the speed of this motor is 1500 rpm after setting the 1500 rpm we have to vary this field current by varying this field current we are going to note down corresponding variations in the voltmeter okay we are going to note down the corresponding variations in the voltmeter that's the procedure am i clear yes sir Small Thank nothing is there first we have to set the speed of motor is 1500 rpm after setting the speed to 1500 rpm just vary the field current okay by varying field current we are going to note down the corresponding variations in the voltage and we have to tabulate these two values okay okay this is the tabular column okay this is a tabular column which gives the variations of current and generated voltage or back emf and by using these two values we have to draw the graph okay we will get we will get graph like this now okay this is the voltage and this is the current okay without applying current also we are going to get some voltage what is the reason for getting this voltage Yes. Yes, ma. That's right. Okay. Without applying field current, we are going to get some voltage. That voltage is nothing but back EMF. Ma. That back EMF is due to the residual property of a motor. Okay. This bit is very important, ma. Even current is zero, we are going to get some voltage across the motor. okay that voltage is due to the residual property residual property okay we will get graph like this by using these two values okay from that we have to take the tangent to these characteristics okay after taking tangent we have to find out the slope means by considering any two points on this tangent we are going to consider the slope okay by using this slope we are going to calculate the transfer function of a dc motor okay this is the first tabular column which gives the occ characteristics and this is the second tabular column which gives the armature resistance okay actually we have to conduct this experiment but okay due to the some problem we are not going to conduct this experiment this circuit okay this is the circuit for conducting measurement of resistance okay we are not going to conduct experiment okay i am going to give the values of voltage and current where yeah this one now this table are called okay i am going to give the values for voltage and corresponding current by using these two values we are going to measure the resistance as the formula for resistance if you know the voltage and current how can you find out the resistance value V by I. R is equal to V by I. That is simply Ohm's law. Ma. By using this formula, find out the DC resistance. After finding DC resistance, we have to calculate the AC resistance. The relation between DC and AC is given like this. Ma. Okay, this is the relation between AC and DC. R AC is equal to 1.2 into R DC. Okay, by using this formula, we have to find out R AC. okay similarly we have to calculate the impedance inductive reactance as well as inductance okay i okay. am also going to give the values for voltage and current for measuring the armature inductance 
okay by using those values we are going to conduct the imp we are going to find out impedance after finding impedance we know formula that is xl is equal to square root of impedance square minus resistance square by using this formula we are going to find out the inductive reactance then inductance that is xl by 2 pi fr 2 pi omega we will get the inductance value okay the need of finding all those things is for finding the transfer function okay this is our transfer function we have to find out okay this is our transfer function otherwise in derivation we are having transfer function yeah this is our transfer function this one we have to find out by using that experiment that is eg of s by ef of s equal to k by 1 plus s tau okay here k value is given this one kg by r a c okay here kg is the slope of the line that is this slope we are going to find out by using occ okay that's the kg value and by using the second tabular column we are going to find out the r a c okay after finding our kg and r a c we are going to get k value okay after getting k value we have to find out tau now okay in this we require k value and tau value for finding transfer function k value is given like this that is k is equal to kg by rac we are going to get this kg from occ and rac is from second tabular column after finding those two we require tau value tau is given as this one l by rac L by R A C and this L is given as this one X by 2 pi F. Here unknown is the X. That X is given by using this formula. And here unknown is the R A C. That R A C is given by using this formula. Yes, ma'am, am I clear? In this everything is related now. And by using this formula, we are going to find out the tau value. After finding tau, we have to substitute k value and tau value in this transfer function and we will get the transfer function of dc generator yes ma am i clear yes sir very simple experiment ma. this is about circuit diagram and this is the formula for finding the transfer function okay we have to conduct only occ okay from occ we will get the values in this tabular column and I am going to provide values for finding armature resistance as well as armature inductance. Okay, we are going to consider 3 to 4 values now. Okay, by considering 3 to 4 values, we require only one value now. For that, we are going to find out the RAC average. I think everyone knows how to find out average. That is sum of the values by number of values sum of values by number of values okay in order to getting the required transfer function error free transfer function we are going to consider average values of resistance inductance and impedance okay in this also we are going to find out z average 